The anti-gun Democrats just submitted a bill that would make advertising for firearms and ammo illegal. Yep. Stick by and watch this episode of Guns and Gadgets. Hey everybody, welcome back to Guns and Gadgets, your premier source for Second Amendment news. And if it's Second Amendment news you're after, no matter where it happens in the country, consider smashing the thumbs up and the subscribe button. Share this with some friends and join this growing freedom family because this is where you're going to find it. Before I jump into this, again, I want to thank two of the big sponsors here on the channel. Uh, big Daddy Unlimited, check them out. I'll have a link to my website down below, which will allow you to link off of that. Can't put links for that here on YouTube, but I can tell you that it's bigdaddyunlimited.com slash guns and gadgets. Spell it all out. Also check out the USCCA. They are, are a fantastic organization. You'll learn a lot. You can train a lot. You have a great plethora of information to pull from, and they'll be with you in the fight if you ever have to utilize one of those tools. Now let's talk about this bill here. First off, I will tell you straight up that this bill is not moving in the next week and a half to two weeks that uh, Congress is still in session. But if Joe Biden wins and the Democrats flip the Senate, some people believe both of those are a possibility, uh, then this is a serious threat because this will be reintroduced in January. Like always, I'll have a link to this bill down below so you can read it. It's very short. I'll put it here on the screen and read it to you. But I figured you'd first want to know who submitted this. Who wants to make it illegal to say, hey, I make this product and I would like you to buy it? Well, it's old Darth Feinstein from California. It's no secret that Diane Feinstein is an anti-gunner and doesn't know anything she's talking about when it comes to guns, but she just wants them gone for, for several reasons. But uh, this bill is S4718. Again, link will be down below. And there's a sister version in the house by from Representative Scanlon out of Pennsylvania. Uh, but I'll read you the, the Senate bill. It's the same thing. A bill to amend Title 18 USC to make fraudulent dealings in firearms and ammunition unlawful and for other purposes. This act may be cited as the Stopping the Fraudulent Sales of Firearms Act. Because there's so many fraudulent sales going on across the country. What does this look to do? Well, it looks to amend... Uh, section 922A of Title 18 of the U.S. Code. And how do they want to do it? Let's see. Number one, in paragraph nine, by striking the period at the end and inserting and, and by adding at the end the following. For any person, A, to import, manufacture, or sell a firearm or ammunition by means of false or fraudulent pretenses, representations, or promises, and B, to transmit or cause to be transmitted by means of wire, radio, or television communication in interstate or foreign commerce, any communication relating to the importation, manufacture, or sale described in some paragraph A, which would be the sale of firearms and ammunition. This bill would make advertising in the firearms industry a crime. And if a, a firearms manufacturer is committing crimes, then they would be able to revoke their license. It seeks to shut down industry uh, advertising which is a blatant violation of the First Amendment. And like I said, it will go nowhere right now because this session's just about done. But you will see this again in January. I think it's the 24th when they reconvene. Now, if you're familiar with constitutional law, the First Amendment pr protects free speech, but it doesn't protect hate speech. Now, nothing in the advertising of a product, a legal product that you have legally made and you want people who can legally purchase it to purchase it, Nothing there is hate speech or inciting a riot. It's not, you know, uh, yelling wolf or yelling fire. It's just not. And if this goes through, it'll be banned. It'll be illegal to do that stuff. However, it's not illegal for uh, people to go on and call for burning down cities to cause damage to people's properties. That's totally okay. And in fact, the Democrats thrive off that. But they don't want people to say, hey, I just made this new clicky bang and it's on sale. Let me know what you guys and gals think down below. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Just another quick update on a bill that we will see again, especially if old Sniffy wins. All right, guys and gals, that's all I have for this afternoon. Until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, carry your weapons, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care, everybody.